Lovable 2.0 just dropped and it's packed with some game-changing features and in today's video we're going to run through how some of them work and be able to build our, our very own AI newsletter so that we can go through it and add people automatically. Let's run through some of the quick updates. So as you can see here, they've got their brand new UI that we're going to be able to interact with on the front page. We've got all the community templates at the bottom here. But the other most important thing is they've gone through and changed their pricing. So as we can see here, we've got the three tiers that we now have. So around $40 a month, or we've got around $48 a month. And I'll include a screenshot over the top of what that previous pricing used to be so that we can compare it to see how it now looks. So as you can see here, lots of templates in the community. There's a few that I just pulled out quickly here. So this one is, for example, a direct competitor, maybe to an Airbnb or hotel, Tramago, Expedia, Kayak, stuff like that, to be able to go through and host a website. I really like this one here, though. This is Pulse Robot. This looks re really futuristic, so I think it'd be really good for that use case we're going to run through today. And again, you're able to use this straight away. All you need to do is come up to the top, hit Remix, do remix and now it'll be able to go through and set up this project for us there we go and that's how quick and easy it is to get a new one set up what we'll be able to do is come through and just change the settings so for example in here we'll be able to come down and change the name of the project we'll be also able to make it private so that only we can go through and do it we'll rename the project to our ai newsletter we'll be able to do save so now we're going to be able to go through and use that the other new feature as well is you're going to be able to add your own domain so as you can see for example there We've got ainewslover.lovable.app as the start. We can also go through and buy a domain. So this is going to be using Ionos. Again, it'd be interesting to see if this changes for the different regions. As you can see here, you can search for that domain. It will go off and see if you can purchase it. The other way that you can now do is also add your own domain directly into Lovable so that we can use it. So as you can see here, secure, easy. Again, all that means is your custom domain ready to go. Now let's explore some of the new features. So as you can see in the bottom left hand corner here, we've now got this new chat feature. So what this is going to do is enable us to actually chat with it, find out maybe if we've got some project structures that we want to do, how we want the layout to change without having to use up lots of our tokens to explore what we want. That's going to be a really great feature. What we're also going to be able to do is able to edit some of the text. Again, we're going to run through that in a bit as well. So now we can go through and say, please add a field on the left hand side to be able to capture the user's email address and full name. We'll be able to send that off. Now what it should be able to go through and do, and this is one of the features I love about Lovable, is you're able to go through and without having to hire a web developer, web team spending months and months and months just to get to a minimum viable product or that first iteration, it will be able to go through and be able to do it for us straight away. It looks like we had an error, so we'll just go through it and try and fix that. Now what it should be able to do is come back with that fully updated design with the ability to have that full name. And then we go that email address sent across, which is great. That's exactly what we want. One of the new features as well is the ability to change the text. So it looks like we've lost the bar at the top. So we need to go through and update that. But for example, here you'd be able to do edit be able to click in here and as you can see this is actually the old version so we're going to be able to go through and make some changes in the future i'll include the screenshot over the top around what they're showing the capabilities to be in the future so as we can see here we'll be able to go in and actually change this so for example if we come down here as you can see we've got the ability to change it on the left hand side here to go through and update the text we could say fill in the details below to get access to monthly newsletter there we go so as we can see here again we'll be able to come down here and change the information to what we wanted it looks like they've not pushed it out yet because they're just going through and adding some of these slowly so as mentioned we're going to go through and build a demo just how to add them to an actual newsletter campaign so for example here what we now be able to say is when the user so we can say when the user presses request access please send the use the name and email address as jason across to the following webhook we're going to come into our NA10 instance. We're going to come down here. We'll do webhook. We'll come into our test webhook here. But again, you would need to go to production if we were going to put this in a live environment. We're going to change it from get through to post. We'll do listen for test event. We're going to come back across to our instance. We'll be able to do test and then test at gmail.com. Now we'll be able to do request access. So it will be able to send this information off to Lovable so that off to NA10, so there we go. We now got all this information, including full name and the email address. So now if we wanted to add them into a Google Sheets or into another software, 
All you would need to do is come through and do Google and then Sheet. We would be able to go through and we would be able to do a append or update or own a Sheet. We'd be able to go through, we would be able to do Sheet within a document. We'll add our document in there. There we go. And now we'll be able to do Sheet 1 because we only got one Sheet in there. And you should be able to get our email address and our name. So we'll be able to come down on the left hand side, do full name and address. We'll be able to do test. And now it should go through it and automatically append it to a new row in here. And we should see it come through. Oh, it looks like match our name. So what we're actually going to do is do create. So we do append a new row, sorry. And we'll be able to do test step. So now what we should be able to do is if we come back into here, we should see, there we go. New information has been added in there. So that's great. That's how easy it is to do. All we need to do, for example, is a webhook. And then we're looking for response to webhook. And we're going to be able to send back that we're just going to have some text. And this is going to say task complete. That's all it's going to send back so that we know that that task has been completed. And we're going to be able to do using response webhook node. So now if we go through and give it a quick test, we can do test workflow, come back into our instance. We can say Alex follow up. We can give it our email address. We can do request access. It will send it off, append it to a new sheet, and then it'll come back. So as you can see here, we didn't get that success until after it had been fully completed. And now we've got Alex in here and that'll be all good to go. And if we wanted to, what we could also do is send an automatic email. So for example, if I came in here, we could do open AI, open AI. We could do messenger model. We have to choose a model. So we'll come in here. We're going to do 4.1 mini. We'll be able to say, you need to write a polite email with HTML formatting to a new joiner of a news letter about AI and automation. We'll be able to send this down. We can say, here is the customer's name. And then we'll be able to come down to the bottom here, put it across and append it at the end there. We'll also come back to the top here and just tell that this is an assistant. So it's going to go through and change it. We'll be able to do test step. And what we should get on the right hand side here is just that really quick polite email that's going to go to a customer. So now if we come through, we'll be able to do Gmail. We'll be able to do Gmail and then we're going to do send a message, send a message. So now what we'll be able to do is two, we can come down and add our part across. We'll be able to do welcome to the newsletter. And then we're going to be able to email type is HTML and then we'll be able to pull this across. And then what we're going to do is just come back out of here. And we can say in here, we'll pull this down and we can say, so we're just going to say it needs to be in raw HTML, don't include dash HTML, and it needs to be usable straight in Gmail. So now we should go through and just update that format that we're going to get outputted. So there we go. That's much better. If we come back across, we'll come into here and we'll be able to test it. So now if I do test step, what we should do is get an email that was sent. And there we go. That's how quick and easy it is to get something set up so that we can send it back and forth. Of course, we asked it to go through and actually add this request. But one of the new features in Lovable is around this new dev mode about being able to do this a lot easier for updating the codes, getting access to it, making changes exactly as you would need. So there's lots of new features coming through. Again, they're drip feeding them at the moment. It's only just been announced. So when you log in, check if you've got access to them. One of the other features as well is a new security setting. So as you can see here, we don't have Superbase connected, but that's only going to be visible if you've got Superbase connected. And when you go through and do publish, it will come through and be able to just do that security check with you to make sure everything's working. And the last part, just running through quickly, is you're also going to be able to have what they call multiplayer, and you're going to be able to invite multiple team members into your lovable instance. And as you can see from the documentation here, this is going to enable pro subscriptions to have two people in individual projects. But they're going to have a team subscription, 20 users in the workspace, and it's going to be able to go through and update it as you want there as well. And I think this is going to be one of the most interesting features. That's been a really quick demo just around some of the new features coming to and in Lovable. Stay tuned for more around AI agents, automation, and have a great day.